Okay, he, here's another spiritual question that has sparked hot debate. Yes. Is a hot dog a sandwich? <laughs> this is the one that Aaron thought I was going to bring up when I brought that question up. When you start talking about hot dogs, I'm like, oh, is he going to do the hot dog as a sandwich thing? Because um, I argue, no. However, it is a taco. I don't know what angers me more. I honestly don't uh, know which angers me more. To decide... Ivan! To Lord decide. of the Tacos. <laughs> Lord of the Tacos. Cast your vote. You have extensive taco knowledge? Don't you? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> don't you? Depends on the question, I guess. What you got? Well, uh, uh, any ideas, uh, any counters to what Kodiak has stated about hot dogs being tacos? I mean, he's the culinary uh, is on his foot. Fair enough. So I, guess, I guess to answer any of these questions, is a taco a sandwich or a, a taco? Is a, uh, is a uh, hot I mean, dog a sandwich or a taco? What is okay, the definition I mean, of a sandwich? What is the definition of a taco? Okay, I mean, if it's a hot dog, I would consider it a taco. Yeah. But if it's a corn dog, I don't know, man. I, I oh, guess cor it cor corn dog is ravioli. Oh, that sparked rage. That okay. sparked rage in me. I don't know why. I saw red. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of disgrace is that? Hang on. I thought you were colorblind. No, actually. No, oh no, my wait. god! With a hot, when it comes to a hot dog, I don't know. It could go either way between a taco or a sub. Okay, so so well, what? Sub is a kind of sandwich. Right. But sub, yeah, sub is a kind of sandwich. So that's kind. It just kind of branches off from sandwich. So. Okay, he here. It's a coin flip. May 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 I present my argument? Present it. Okay. Wait, hold on, real quick before you do. That okay. this clear and straight. Sandwich, what constitutes a sandwich is two slices of bread or a split roll having a filling in between or yeah. one slice of bread covered with food. By those, the, I, I feel like we need to set some parameters before we get too off the rails here. Right. Mr. Corndog is a ravioli. All right. Is a ravioli. <laughs> I will fight you on this. Um, okay, so a sandwich... If by this definition, then I say yes, a hot dog is a sandwich. Okay. And if by the same degree, a tortilla is a type of bread. I will I will die on this hill. A tortilla is a type of bread. A taco is just a cultured sandwich. I'm not sure if those are angry silences from my radical opinions. Just, oh, my, my bones are quaking. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Because here's the fucking thing. Yeah, right. So a hot dog <laughs> cannot be a sandwich. Okay. And it is not because of the elements that comprise it, right? Because we could argue semantics of that all day, but here's the thing. People always change what elements go into a sandwich or what you put on a hot dog right everyone's order is always different so you can't argue the semantics of ingredients what we have to look at is presentation and how it is consumed mm -hmm. okay if you go to a sub shop right you go to right. subway right someone orders a meatball marinara right? yeah and that gets prepped and put on the bread and they open up their sandwich and they turn it 90 degrees mm. so that the meatballs are staring at the ceiling and they eat it that way, y you would block that person on Facebook, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. But if someone does that with a hot dog, then no. Like, that, that's, how, that's how it is. So a hot dog can't be a sandwich 
because the open face and the ingredients are facing up and right. are generally consumed that way because yeah. vice versa exists if you take if you you know go to jersey Mike or jersey mics if you go to j dogs or yeah you know some other fucking wiener shop <laughs> oh my god this is the idea unwrap, of a wiener shop kills me they unwrap their <laughs> hot dog after getting all the fixings on it right Right. And they turn it 90 degrees and all like the sauerkraut and the relish and everything just flops right onto the fucking floor. And they start eating it in front of you. Like that that person is insane and should be cancelled on Twitter. <laughs> because, yeah, um, so you would not turn a sandwich 90 degrees to eat it. Okay. Whereas a taco naturally, by the shape and virtue of how it is consumed, you know, the mm -hmm. ingredients face up. You can turn your head to consume it at an angle, but right. to turn a taco 90 degrees is to spill all the ingredients out. Right. Lastly, a hot dog is a taco. So for you, the definition of a sandwich is bread... Ingredients. Bread, I have to pee. You guys continue. I will dip for a second while I go take a leak. Correct. Bread, ingredients, possibly bread. Um. In fact, yes, bread. Because if it's just bread and ingredients on top, and there's no like second piece of breading or anything, then it's a pizza. Hmm. And a taco is what to you? A, a taco is a taco. It 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 sits on its own. But, but define it. A piece of breading, usually in a U configuration, filled with ingredients that face the ceiling. Okay. So if I if I take a soft taco shell. Sure. And I wrap it around my taco like a blanket, and it's just open on the sides now. Has it become uh, something different, or is it still a taco? Hmm. I just jumped back in. Mind repeating that question, Aaron? If you take a soft taco shell uh -huh. on your taco... And wrap it around like a like a blanket, and so the sides are open, but the top and bottom are closed. Is it still a taco, or does it become something different? Comes a burrito. At that point, it is a burrito. I'm waiting for his answer. Okay. Also, I have one other uh, counter argument to the whole hot dog is not a sandwich ordeal. Okay. And I have examples. When it was served to you, it was a taco. As soon as you put the soft taco tortilla yourself on top of it, at that point, it becomes a sandwich. Uh, okay. In, in that case, I, I can accept your argument, but... A hot dog is indeed a taco, or at Very least well. a similar entity from a different culture. Correct. So, um, here's my argument as to why a hot dog is not a, ta a taco. Um, okay, so hot dogs. Conventionally speaking, they're meant to be eaten on a hot dog bun, right? But a poor man's hot dog is a slice of bread. Now, I have been poor many a times in my life. I've also been lazy many a times in my life. And I have eaten a hot dog as such. When you want a hot dog and you don't have any buns, say you don't have the money or the want to run to the store, a slice of bread will counter as a um, hot dog bun, if you will. Now, um, with a hot dog, 
I, uh, so if you eat it on a slice of bread, I would say that constitutes it as a sandwich. Now, for one reason and one reason alone, a, when you're making yourself food and you're not super hungry, I, I have done this numerous times. You make a half sandwich, you get one piece of bread, peanut, say peanut, take peanut butter and jelly, peanut butter one side, jelly on the other, and you close it. In my opinion, that is still constituted as a sandwich, or at that point, it becomes a sub. I would not argue that subs are tacos. I would argue, in fact, that subs, with the way they are presented and brought to you, that subs are sandwiches. Okay. So, by that logic alone, I, yes, I do agree to a portion. It is up to the presentation. But I say... That the bun itself makes the hot dog a taco. Yet if you use a slice of bread on a hot dog, it is still a hot dog, but a sandwich. Okay, so then by that logic, a corn dog is also still a hot dog. But no. It's, not. it's a ravioli. See, a corn dog changes things up because there's a few, uh, and this is where I'm going to disprove your whole ravioli blasphemy, okay? Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, oh, I fucking will. Um, okay, so a, a corn dog has features that a ravioli does not. A ravioli is made out of pasta, and it is meat in meat or some mixture of meat seasoned, enclosed in egg wash, pasta, two things of pasta together, and then cooked. A, you, it can either be boiled or baked. Okay. You do not deep fry a ravioli unless you want the Italian mafia knocking at your fucking door, willing to hang you from the ceiling by your own testicles. Um, a corn dog is a corn batter, a hot dog shoved on a stick, dipped in corn batter, and then deep fried. The cooking, presentation, and the buildup are different. And you are supposed to eat a corn dog with and on the stick. The second you take the corn dog off the stick, it becomes a burrito. You just don't get it, do you? <laughs> now that I've explained why I don't believe a corn dog is a ravioli, go ahead and explain to me your blasphemous reasonings behind why suddenly. A corn dog is a ravioli. Because it is a meat and or, you know, product, the, the intended protein, as it were, mm -hmm. is packaged within a breading. Okay. Now, the stick being introduced to it as a manner of eating it, to me, is no different than using a fork to pick up said ravioli. Ravioli doesn't stop becoming ravioli because you stabbed it with a fork. Or, it doesn't stop becoming ravioli because you removed the fork. And sure, a way that ravioli can be presented is to be boiled or baked. And that is true, but that is what the process of making the thing led to. That does not have anything to do with what it is when it enters your mouth. And it, it's very boiled down forms. It is a breading over your protein. Thusly, it is a ravioli. I say that you do not need a fork to eat ravioli. You can in fact use a spoon or chopsticks. Sure. It is an implement that aids you in delivering the deliciousness to your mouth. Same as the stick. Because I feel that if you remove the stick from a corn dog, as my cousins often did growing up, not only do I not talk to them anymore, but I Okay, I had to reel favor. from that one. Not only do I argue in their favor that even removing the stick, it is still a corn dog, and that corn dog is still ravioli. So wait, if it's a if it's a breaded ingredient 
does that mean that like fried breaded chicken is a ravioli as yes. well? So you're saying KFC is an Italian yeah. is an it's could be classified as an Italian restaurant. I'm is that what you're verbally assaulting me with? Very much so. What I'm <sighs> saying, without you putting words in my mouth, is that <laughs> if you want to take food at its core, at what it is, right? Mm. At its most basic elements of presentation. Because an Uncrustable is not a sandwich. It's a ravioli. That I accept. That I accept. Now, okay, okay, hole in your fucking argument, then. Because okay. you don't cook an Uncrustable, right? Uh, so the they're presented to you frozen. So you have two options. You can either microwave it, which plenty of people do. I'm not of the mindset. I think that is fucking... Just... It ruins the Uncrustable, okay? I'm gonna... Ooh, I'm getting angry, and I I know people personally who do that, but they know too much about me for me to distance myself from them, lest they start ta saying some deep shit that I know they have access to. Sure. Anyway, concrustables. I because I do also believe that raviolis can be eaten uncooked. Right. With the way they are built and made, they can be eaten uncooked. As can a corn dog. Uh, <laughs> So, mm. I, I like this guy's arguments because what matters to me is that you keep your definition uh, consistent. Yeah. I, I feel like I've kept my definitions consistent. You have. I haven't? Explain. You've changed multiple times. I may have not clarified certain things, but I feel like I've kept my definitions fairly consistent. I'm asking you to explain. I'm willing to admit I'm wrong. All I need is point it out, and I will accept. So the two major things I've noticed yes. is your willingness to accept that an Uncrustable does not necessarily need to be cooked, thus making the point of how ravioli is prepared as opposed to how corn dogs are prepared. So that changed in consistency. The other one goes back to your heinous hot dog argument of introducing being poor to the mix, which no one asked, but cutting... All I'm saying bread, is it's, vi it's a viable option. It is, true. And at that point, it stops being a taco. And you're right, it does become a sandwich, but only because the intended purpose of how it is consumed gets changed. Mm -hmm. because but I, you I did agree to, that uh, if you if, were to go to J Dogs, yeah. if you were to go to Weber Schnitzel, and yeah. they handed you a sausage adjacent product mm. on two pieces of bread, and they told you it was a hot dog, you would ask for your money back. <laughs> well, fair. If I go to J Dogs and I get that, that's not why I go to J Dogs. I do understand where you're. You're going with this, and I secede my point. I do agree that a hot dog is a taco, unless you change the bun. That the the I, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I agree with you on that. My only stipulation with hot dogs is if you change the bun to something else, it becomes something different. But it is still a hot dog by name. Well, sure. if you if you put, uh, if you cut a hot dog, not the the hot dog but the actual sausage the cheap sausage that we call hot dogs if you cut it in half and put it on two slices of bread it's a sandwich made out of a sausage it's right. not a hot yeah. dog okay no I get where you're coming from as for the ravioli thing I do see my inconsistencies when it came to the Uncrustables for some reason it makes sense for the Uncrustable but it still does not make sense for the corn dog just with uh, it's just the presentation and texture alone. I don't think it is necessary to stab a ravioli to eat it, but I do feel like a stick... Okay, no, I don't care. A stick is necessary to eat a corn dog. 
You could take it off the cor the stick and eat it with a knife and fork or with your bare hands like a goddamn heathen. But doing that would have to indicate some sort of level of, like, your parents didn't love you. Like, no, that there's other problems to that other than what they've done to it at that point. But the stick is a key... Comp the, point of, okay. the point I'm trying to make is the stick is a key component of the corn dog, And there is no stick key component of a ravioli. That is the only point I'm trying to make. Ignore previously what I've said because I do realize it's, it came out all jumbled and not the way I intended. No worries. So my main argument oh. at this point is that the stick itself separates it. I can, I can understand the breading and I can understand the meat. That I completely understand. But it's the stick which, if you remove the stick from a corn dog, it's no longer a corn dog. Corn dogs are meant to be with a stick. Okay. But what is the stick? Uh, it could be a few things. Generally, uh, if you go to hot dog on a bun, it is a tightly rolled paper. No, no, if no. you I mean, what spiritually, what is the stick? The stick, spiritually... What function does it serve? The so same function a plate would hold. Okay. It supports the food. Let, let, let me ask the question in a different direction. Okay. Would you scoop a ravioli up with your bare hand? Is it bad that the first thing that came to my mind when you said that was Filthy Frank sitting in a park on a college campus scooping ravioli out of his front t-shirt pocket with his bare hands? Yes. Yes, it is bad. Continue. <laughs> um, I would not scoop it with my hand, no, but I would scoop... But generally, I personally eat ravioli with a spoon because I like to have a little extra sauce with my raviolis. And a spoon is not a blasphemous way to eat ravioli. Right. But the spoon, the fork, the knife, mm. ladle, whatever you want to use, to deliver the ravioli to your mouth is the same function that the stick serves. Thusly, if you remove the stick from mm. the food itself, you have not made it not a ravioli, you have metaphorically pulled the fork out of the ravioli. I see where you're coming from, but it feels like a bit of a stretch. But this is arguing semantics, man. This is, it this is. is the it game. Is. So, a counter question then. Okay. Where does the line lie between a ravioli and a burrito? So, a burrito is, is it, a ravioli. Okay. But is it a ravioli, or is it, in that point, a burrito? No, it's it's a ravioli. It is a breaded product mm -hmm. covering the intended protein. The intended protein cannot see the open air until it is it has begun being consumed or has been penetrated by an eating implement. But size doesn't factor in on this. Not every burrito is sealed, though. That's true. There are some burritos with an open end. Usually, if you go to Del Taco and you order, like, one of the... Are you speaking? Wait, hold on. Somebody else speak real quick. I see Kodiak's thing lighten up, but I can't hear anything. Oh, it's... Sorry. Probably it seems to be catching okay. my, like, computer fan every so often. No, that's fine. I was just worried Discord was doing that dumb thing again where you guys were speaking and I just couldn't hear it. And I was like, oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, does size not play a factor in this? It you did not, mention that presentation does play a factor, though. It can, certainly. But generally, a ravioli would be wet. Not necessarily, because I, I mean, believe yeah, that yeah, you're right. A dumpling or um, what are those damn things called? Like uh, pot stickers. Pot stickers. Thank you. Those are generally served 
fairly dry. Sure, with a byproduct of. But they're know, cooked in a similar food. fashion, yeah. You don't have to right. dip them in the soy sauce to eat them. You can eat them as is. Exactly. In the same way that you would present ketchup or mustard with a corn dog, it's not necessarily required yeah. that those two components be there. They can just be the sauce. Okay. So just so we're on the same page, are dumplings and potstickers also raviolis by your definition? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they're made in a very similar fashion. They have a very similar presentation. As are Hot Pockets. Well, all, all we're arguing is, is how many types of ravioli are there. I'm trying to see the limit. Like, is encased is all encased food, uh, all food encased in breading a ravioli? Because that's what cuts it off. You are right that there are burritos out there that are open either on one side that's usually facing 90 degrees mm. uh, on a horizontal plane, at which point they are a sandwich. Uh-huh. So take, for example, taquitos. Yeah. Taquitos, which have the desired protein mm. facing two different ways, those are sandwiches. What if... Okay. What if... A vegan alternative. So, I'm trying to think of an example, but I can... I know there's something out there. Well, that's that why would, I say desired or, oh, protein. It doesn't necessarily have to be meat. No. It's the filling. It's the spiritual essence of... So the protein itself the doesn't bread. define it. No. Right? It just, it's what, as long chili, as it's... Chili does not require meat to be chili. I do oh, argue okay. it requires beans to be chili but it does not require meat. Okay. Wanted to clarify that up. Um, okay, Ivan. You've been awfully quiet. Yeah, sorry. I've been, I'm building an RC. What's up? Oh, nice. you're good. Have you have you been listening in? Yeah. Are you are you shaking your head in anger and rage? From time to time. From time to time. Do you care to share with us your hot takes? Mm, nah. Nah? You you just listening? Okay, uh, well, crap, yeah. all right. You get back to building your RC. Um, just wanted to see because he was awfully quiet, so I wasn't sure if he was like, "I'm ready to fucking unfriend all of you." Man, I'll try. I'll chime in if I get heated, though. Okay, oh, cool. Please, please do, because I I want you all to know, heated like almost shouting debate over the stupidest shit is my favorite. <laughs> we we got damn close. Um. Okay, then. All this is doing is making me hungry. <laughs> uh, f feel free to step away for a food break. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. What was my train of thought? What was my train of thought? Um, okay. Um, God, I had something. I had something. Um, shit, 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 shit. What was it? Okay. A quesadilla. Okay. Would it be a taco? Or would it be... A pizza. It would not be a pizza. To be a pizza, uh... you have to have a piece of breaded product mm -hmm. with ingredients on top of. So hold and on. That is what constitutes a pizza. So like an avocado toast sandwich, like let an me, open face sandwich. Let me clarify real quick. Let me clarify. There are two big pizza camps. There's a Chicago-style pizza, sure. and there's a New York-style pizza. Right. Which is the real pizza? Hmm. Mm. I am very biased towards this one because I am in the Chicago pizza camp. With the way it is presented, Chicago pizza all the way. Because you have bread on your bottom, you have your filling, you have bread on your top. But okay. it is a something that is meant to lay flat. Right? When served, it is it is laid flat, and you start at one end, unless you're a heathen, like our Native American friend, who likes to roll up his pizzas and eat it like a taquito, which I almost murdered him for. Uh, I don't know if any of you have seen I mean, this. I, I have. 
I mean, it makes it portable. It does. Yeah, but when it's a Totino's pizza, the fucking... Sh there are holes in the bottom, and it's... St the, the, okay, if it's a Totino's pizza... It squeezes pizza, out, and it's just a mess. Okay, if it... Okay, okay, so now now you bring up the fact that it's a Totino's pizza. That completely changes everything. That's a goddamn sin. Thank you. <laughs> um, but my the point, I guess the point I was trying to bring up is because I consider Chicago pizza true style pizza, right? Yeah. To me, that is the superior pizza. I am biased. I like my Chicago pizza. Uh -huh. um, it's always been my favorite type never been super big i can see the appeal to the new york pizza personally i don't get the same out of it but the chicago pizza has more oomph to it and is more more pleasant to look at there's just so much there it's so appealing to the eye of it's like a pie slice all right take, therefore take cold shower okay okay i'll i'll, I'll, I'll shut up now pizza and get to your point um yes uh so anyways i would argue that a quesadilla is uh, a pizza slice in the terms of Chicago pizza because you have breading, breading, pizza in between, breading that connects and goes around. It is meant to be eaten flat, starting from one side to the other. So therefore, I would argue quesadilla is a pizza. Okay, you're wrong, but okay. Okay, give me your, <laughs> give me your fucking counter argument. A quesadilla mm -hmm. is a sandwich. Okay. It is a piece of breaded product with your desired contents, open face, even slightly mm -hmm. open face, to the world. Okay. And then another piece of breaded product to prevent it from seeing the ceiling. Okay. Now, if you were to do like that Taco Bell thing, where they do one giant tortilla, put all the cheese in the middle, and then they fold those edges up mm -hmm. into, you know, a, a sort of folding. Then like a crunch wrap? Like the crunch wrap supreme? Right. That okay. is a ravioli. Making shrimp following. Making shrimp following. Okay. Um, Okay, fair enough. I can see that. Then what would you classify a Chicago pizza as? Because not only so, is there meat in the middle of the bread, but there's also additional stuff on top of the top layer of bread. So therefore, it, it can't right. constitute as a sandwich. It isn't. It constitutes a, a pizza. Okay. So pizzas and, are its own thing. Right. So pizza is its own category. Again, okay. it is breaded product with... At the very least, uh, material on top facing the ceiling. Yes. So, if Chicago pizza was just breaded product, then all your pie filling stuff, so to mm -hmm. say, and then the crust on top, then it would be a ravioli. But because they put extra stuff on top of that top crust, then it becomes a pizza. Okay. Okay. So, I guess that begs the question of, then, pies. Okay. Because pies, have... they come in many different sizes and many right. different constitutions. You have your fruit pies, which are not a closed top. True. Generally, they have, I forget the name of it, it has a specific word for it. Um, of the kind of, like, top layer. How, it's, how it has the open slices. Yeah. I, that's not the, there's that's not the specific word there's like a specific culinary word for it um it's like when you do a beef wellington it fuck, uh, you have that breaded bit that goes over the top that kind of creates like a, a ah damn it i don't remember the word for it anyways but we'll stick with crust for now but is what is pie then is would pie fall under the same statistic as pizza in that case no no, no, I don't think so. Why not? So, well, because you have that bread that is covering your desired product, even with holes in it, it still covers the majority of your intended product. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't really matter 
that it's usually served in slices, though, personal anecdote, I have eaten pies just with a fork straight out of the tin. Hey, we all been there. And if you say you haven't, you're lying. <laughs> That's true. Now, I would argue that a pumpkin pie is pizza. What about cheesecake? Cheesecake is, is that pizza. also pizza? Yeah. But cheesecake often only has a bottom layer. Whereas right. pizza usually will have crust on one end, as in there's no sort of... Uh, in this, uh, this argument can't really be made for pumpkin pie, but it can be made for cheesecake. Cheesecake has your crust bottom, but it, if it does come up the side, then you have bad cheesecake. Bite me. Okay? Cheesecake always has crust on the bottom, and the sides are the desired product. The sides of it, as well as the top. Sure. It is only the bottom that has crust. Therefore, uh, it would be like, like a crustless pizza, which I don't feel constitutes. Because you're removing a quintessential component of the well, pizza. The, some really thin crust pizzas don't have, like, the end border crust. That's There's not that. pizza. There's also the Totino's previously mentioned square pizzas. That's true, too. And then there are open face sandwiches. open face sandwiches do not have a crust that comes up over the side of your components. So in that sense, then a cheesecake would be a sandwich. No. Why not? Because it doesn't have a piece of breading on top. But it has a piece of breading on bottom. Right. Which makes it a pizza. Yes, but it doesn't have the crust. If it doesn't have the crust, it can't be a pizza. No, no, no. The crust is not what defines the pizza. It is breaded product on bottom and desired protein material on top of it, facing the ceiling. I get that, but the breaded product is positioned differently. That's why an open face sandwich in your argument, would be a pizza, but I, I disagree. It okay. doesn't... Well, you're wrong. Okay, so <laughs> what constitutes the pe the sandwich is that it's enclosed on two loaves, or two pieces of bread, right? A pizza has your crust where you hold it and eat it. It is meant, the crust is a defining piece of pizza and always has been. Oh. Therefore, a cheat... The, fr the pizza has crust, all right? Just because, and Totino's not having a crust does not make it a pizza. It is. It is not. What I'm trying to say is there is a clear difference between pizza being open face food and a cheesecake being open, being something of its own as open face food because it does not have a crust The crust is what but makes it the pizza. If, if it's it, not. If a Tostino's pizza is not a pizza, then what is it? It would be under the same classification as a cheese pizza, as a ch cheesecake. God damn it. Now look what you got me doing. They're the, they're classified as the same thing. Yeah. All right. A cheesecake is not a cake. Uh, what is that? And a Totino's pizza is not a pizza. There is, uh, I had it's it. In the, it's in the name, homie. <laughs> no, it is not a cake. A cake is different. A cake has different makeup. No, the, no, no. Totino's Pizza. It's in the name. Yeah, well, Totino's Pizza Roll doesn't make it a pizza, does it? No, it makes it a ravioli. But it's in the name. By your argument, then Totino's Pizza Rolls are pizza. No. But it's in the name. No, Totino's Pizza Rolls are a breaded product with your uh -huh. desired material, unable to see the open air until penetrated by your mouth or an eating implement, which makes Totino's pizza rolls not only a travesty mm -hmm. and super unhealthy for you, but a ravioli. Oh, terrible. <laughs> okay, yes. But by that sense, if Totino's pizza rolls can't be pizza or bagel bites can't be pizza, then... Bagel bites are Okay, fair enough. I give you that one. I didn't think that one through. Anyways, my point is, if it doesn't have a crust, it's not a pizza. 
And because it has pizza in the name does not define it as pizza, otherwise a hot dog wouldn't be a taco because taco isn't in the name of hot dog. All right, I, I will relinquish that one to you. There, I firmly stand by that an open-faced food with breading on the bottom and the desired meats, cheeses, sauces, cheesecake on top should be of its own classification. I, I will give you the name thing. I will not give you that. Okay. Because you the can't... breading that you hold uh -huh. is attached vicariously and literally to the breading on the bottom. Okay. Which makes it an extension of the breading on the bottom. Okay. So... And that breading on the bottom only covers the bottom. I personally feel like it's different enough. Because I, I, I see the parallels and I see where you're coming from. My only problem is I feel like there is a difference enough. But that kind of... Oh, shit. Well, um, uh, hmm? What? Go. At best, it's a different form of pizza. Okay. So, uh, still on the topic of pizza, stuffed crust pizza. Okay. What is it? That's still pizza. Ah. But... It, the cheese being separated into a separate part of the pizza doesn't constitute as anything different? Nope. If there were no ingredients on top, mm -hmm. then it would be a ravioli. Okay. So it's like... A ravioli with, like... So if you combine a ravioli and pizza, it's still pizza. Side piece of bread, yes. Okay. What about... By your argument mm -hmm. there... If just having the cheese separated off into the breaded section made it enough to classify itself as different, then Chicago-style pizza mm -hmm. would be in its own category. But it is fair. Different. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. So, my last thing I wanted to bring up of pizza, Little Caesars has a pizza where they crust it with bacon. The bottom is still bread, but the crust is now bacon. Does that change it from pizza to something else? No. Because quintessentially, the part that is touching the plate or your hand as the eating implement mm. is bread, and then everything that sits on top of it is left to the open air. Now, one other stipulation. I don't know if you've had this pizza. I highly don't recommend it because it will fuck you internally and your skin. It just fucks everything about your biological DNA. I ate a KFC double-double. Bring it on. Oh, by all means, go ahead. Order yourself a... It's a deep dish pizza, right? Okay. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I'm clipping that. I'm fucking clipping that. <laughs> I hope you're going to come back and record this whole thing later. Go for it. This has been a wild stream. I love these tournament streams, and I cannot wait to do more of them. Um, anyways, um, since it is a deep dish pizza, um, with Little Caesars, how they present the pizza to you, you have four corners and two edge pieces. It's a rectangle, right? Now the corner pieces, obviously you can pick it up by the sides. If you pick it up and hold it like that, where you're only touching the bacon, does that change it? No. <laughs> Damn, I really thought I had you there, but you're holding, but the part that you're holding to eat it is no longer breaded. True, it is but the part the... that's touching the plate mm. otherwise is. Okay. I really thought I had poked a hole there. I feel like that's a gray area, though. You've got to give me that. Uh, not really. What if we create a hypothetical pizza where instead of bread, it's uh, bacon on the bottom? 
if it's bacon on the bottom and mm -hmm. ingredients that are on top of it. Yeah. The, yeah, like no bread, bacon, tomato sauce, cheese, and other toppings. And if you don't believe this is possible, you haven't watched Epic Meal Time. Oh no, I, I, I am aware that you can do that. I'm just trying to think of what it would classify as. And part of me wanted to say soup, just because I knew it would piss you off. I'm of sorry? <sighs> hmm. But this, I feel like, would also fall under the same category of people who substitute buns on their burgers with um, lettuce. Oh boy, that's just a salad. Yeah, that's just salad. No, it's not just is salad. It? It's a salad. Yeah. Well, okay. So what classifies a salad? Uh, a mix, usually, at some degree, mm. of lettuce and desired meat protein pieces. So, the definition I heard, uh, I've heard of, is a salad is a mix of three usually raw ingredients... And then your choice of optional uh, protein, such as meat. Then okay. Sauce, such as ranch. So I don't, I, I don't think sauce is required for no, it to I, be. That's what I I said that the meat and sauce are optional. Gotcha. Okay. So generally, salad is in pieces, several pieces. Not it always. takes. What do you mean? Not always. I mean that if you were to take a hamburger and remove the breaded bun and replace it with lettuce, that it would lettuce. still be constituted as a salad, even though they're solid pieces. Correct. What if you're a true heathen and you do just a hamburger patty between two bits of lettuce? Then it's a salad. Mm, I feel like we're losing the the connection to the salad though. This salad yeah. is diced. It is chopped up vegetables and meat is optional. So True. if meat is optional, then I would argue that meat is not a core component of salad. That when you add meat, it becomes something different. True, but if the meat is optional, and you remove the meat from that equation of just the hamburger patty between two pieces of lettuce, then you're stuck with two pieces of lettuce. And let me tell you that when you serve something like a spinach salad, you mm -hmm. don't chop up the spinach. Fair. I give you that. So the leaves can be whole leaf, which means those two pieces of lettuce that you'd be holding would be a salad. You could also throw those tiny tomatoes in there. True. Or olives. Very much so. And you wouldn't have to chop any of those up. Nope. Okay. What is <laughs> a casserole, then? A casserole? Mm-hmm. Depends on if it has breading on the top. Because if it does, it's a ravioli. If it doesn't, it's a pizza. But... If it only has breading on the top, does that still constitute it as a ravioli? Or does it count as an upside-down pizza? Hmm. I would say an upside-down pizza. By our logic that we've discussed so far, it would be a casserole is just an upside-down pizza. No. See, but it's just an upside-down cheesecake at the end of the day. A casserole is its own qualifier casserole is its own qualifier where you have your baking dish or baking implement mm. and you have the elements that you've cooked your desired product what you will your because well, i don't think filled. the baking dish can be viewed as part of the eating process I, I mean you can eat it out of there but generally when casserole is served it is pulled out of the baking dish true but anyways, continue. No, but that that's what I mean, is that it would not be 
brought to you without the baking dish. Yeah. Or if it was, it would have been transferred from the baking dish to a plate. At mm -hmm. which point, the baking dish was still an essential part of preparing and serving the intended product. So casserole is its own thing. Okay. That brings me back to the cheesecake question, then. Still a pizza. Even though it's got the same makeup as a casserole, just upside down. It does not have the same makeup as a casserole. <laughs> and if you ever bring that shit into the same that I get really fucking derailed again... Oh my god. You're gonna have words. <laughs> I mean fists. At I least... Mean Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> At least hear me out. Hear me out. Entertain this argument for five oh, seconds. For please, five please, seconds. Please, I'm please, not argument, I, I'm not saying I stand behind this. I'm proposing this for argument's sake. Okay? Okay. So, generally, a casserole, whether it be green bean casserole or tuna casserole, have your breading on top and your substance right. underneath. Right? Correct. Usually combined of a few ingredients. In place by the baking dish, yes. All in place by the baking dish. A cheesecake, when baked, kind of opposite. You put your breading down first, and then you put your cheesecake filling on top in your baking tray, right? It has to have a baking tray to hold its shape, otherwise, it spills. True. You then bake it and then freeze it. By the process alone, I, I'm willing to I I'm I'm willing to accept cheesecake as pizza because of the orientation of it. Mm -hmm. Thus feeds into the presentation, but for argument's sake, a cheesecake by that standard would be just a upside down casserole. False. Because okay. for that to happen or rather to quantify it by that, then you would be disregarding Chicago pizza. As Chicago pizza is cooked and prepared using that, that same style of rim that is used to make cheesecake. I also found a hole in that argument already. Because the, the dish it is baked in is used to keep the shape of the casserole. It is not the same for cheesecake cheesecake you remove it from the baking dish to serve it and store it outside of the baking dish correct okay nice uh, nice little thought process and the rise i got out of you was top tier <laughs> gold okay <laughs> so that uh, that was pretty good never bring true. that shit at me again <laughs> after all this what is a calzone Ravioli. Zone is ravioli. But I offer a count I offer a new argument. So soup, right? I there are two classifications of soup. So we can take our normal meat stew, where you have meat bits, vegetable bits, and potato bits that you eat, chew, swallow, because you cannot drink a steak bit without choking. But tomato I mean, soup, you... tomato, okay, I don't want to know about how far, uh, I know you've done the banana test and the hot dog test, I get it, but, <laughs> um, I, I hope you know I'm <laughs> um, tomato soup is a drink, beef stew is a soup, or will you argue that there is a difference between stew and soup? I will argue there is a difference between stew and soup. Okay. And my primary argument sits that a stew mm -hmm. in both presentation and composure is made of generally more solid bits that you are right would yeah. be difficult to slurp. Whereas a soup can be consumed without chewing. Mm -hmm. 
as well, a stew can be consumed with a fork and a tilting of the container holding your broth. To, to drink, right. To drink it, whereas a soup can just be consumed with either a spoon or by tilting the eating implement. And what would you do if I just... Is... Go ahead, sorry, sorry, go ahead. Ominous stew. Okay. So, if you saw somebody drinking a soup with a straw... Okay. Where is the line between a soup and drink? So, hot chocolate... What is the difference between hot chocolate and tomato soup? Hot is there a difference? Hot chocolate is a soup. Okay, coffee. Coffee is a soup. <laughs> what? What is the definition of soup we are using? Soup <laughs> is a liquid. Yeah, I can't. Temperature does not matter, which can be oh. consumed without the assistance of another eating implement. So, uh, <sighs> under that definition, every drink is a soup. Correct. Except ah, but does temperature make a difference? No. It, it does not make a difference. Carbonation. Okay, chiming in here for Bulba. Yeah, Bulba. Bulba is a soup. What, yeah, but wouldn't, yeah, wouldn't that just be a chunky soup? Yeah. Well, that uh, things you have to chew, like like edible bits inside the soup, I make mean, it a stew. Having to chew it, I mean that's optional. You know, I mean you could chew it if you're a bitch, but <laughs> sure. Ivan, you don't need to show off your testicle that's, sucking that's abilities. That's obstruction. You can, if you have a like tomato or potato stew, you could just kind of use your tongue forcefully to mash up the chunks of potato you don't necessarily need to chew them but there is nonetheless a non-liquid obstruction within the liquid base okay you could also if the the bits in the stew are chopped up to a fine enough degree you could hypothetically swallow whole the steak potato green beans or so have you as kodiak bricks feels the need to Flex on us all. Mm -hmm. I, I just love that smug. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you got them dick sucking abilities. Like, uh. Listen, man, I'll take the pain off a Ford truck. Don't try me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So, how big. Okay, so is there a line between how big the bits have to be before it becomes a soup versus a stew? No. So if, if I have... If there is a non-liquid obstruction, mm -hmm. no matter the size, then it becomes a stew. What about heavily... Okay, so let's take crushed red pepper, right? Okay. Say we garnish our stew with crushed red pepper. It is a non-liquid obstruction, is it not? Right. It is a very small one, but if we add crushed red pepper to tomato soup, does it then become a stew? Yes. Even though you can still perfectly drink it with very minimal effort. Correct. The same way if you add saltine crackers to a tomato soup, then it becomes a stew. Okay, but Even what about... So, okay. So, is... is... Uh, is a stew a type of soup, or is chicken noodle soup suddenly not a soup and a stew now? Yeah, chicken noodle soup is a stew. But is it also a, a soup, or is soup exclusive? Soup is exclusive. So is so spaghetti a soup? Is a stew. Yeah, boba is a stew. Spaghetti is a stew. Negative. Why? Because it's not generally served in a liquid-based broth. 
Okay, so is spaghetti spaghetti, or is it classif- or sh would it be classified as something else? Spaghetti but spaghetti has marinara own. sauce. Okay. Uh, is The marinara sauce by itself is a soup. True, but the dish is not called marinara sauce. It's called no, spaghetti. But we're ignoring names, we've discussed this. So if we add the marinara soup and noodles, what is it but ramen with more noodle content than soup content? At what point does the ratio determine that the item is no longer a stew? The amount of ingredients? Well, no, because that's... Soft, soft cause maybe has, on that. Because stew has, has, a lot of, has a lot of ingredients depending on what kind of stew you make. Well, it depends on right, the stew. But where, but where my classification of stew ends is a liquid broth base, such mm. as similar to soup, but with solid particles. Okay. So by that definition, spaghetti, despite being served with marinara, Mm-hmm. Ah, I didn't I, see in holes. I, I would say that the marinara is too thick generally to be considered a broth. As but, it's generally tomato-based rather than water-based or cream-based. So that kind of goes back to one of Ivan's things he pointed out. Boba is served in two fashions. Either as a hot tea drink, or, uh, as much as I hate using this as a comparison, a Slurpee-esque with crushed ice. True. Ooh. So, in that case, what, where, then boba with crushed ice instead of a hot broth, tea, is something different. True, but the ice is still water and it's still water based it's water based but it is not water it is ice right iced With if we're gonna set marinara as being because there are a wide variety of different marinara sauces or tomato sauces that you may garnish and add up to become marinara but at the end of the day it's ultimately a spiced up tomato sauce right so if we're gonna argue that marinara is too thick to be considered a broth, then so is crushed ice in a slurpy fashion. Hmm. So at that point, do we give slurpees their own classification? No. Then what are they? They're soup. They're soup. Then mar then pasta, then salad. And not salad. Spaghetti is a is a is a stew. Hmm. If boba with uh, crushed uh, ice okay. is a stew, uh, then okay. by extension, unless you set clear parameters for the liquid to solid content of the stew, then uh, without those parameters, then spaghetti is a stew. Yes. Spaghetti is a stew. I feel like this is such a victory. Oh. <laughs> I, I can hear the anger. Chowder. What about what? Chowder. Chowder? Chowder? That would be a uh, stew, wouldn't stew. it? Yeah. Um. Gumbo. Gumbo? Stew. Yeah, gumbo is a stew. But... I bring up a question. Unless it's in a bread bowl, at which point it becomes a taco. Okay. Lasagna. <laughs> that's, that's what I was waiting for, the shut the fuck up from Ivan. That's, that's what I wanted. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, you made, me, you made me choke on my slurp. <laughs> um, okay. I totally uh. stand by what I said. Uh, okay. <laughs> Lasagna. 
Lasagna? Is it a pizza? Ooh. Is it a ravioli? Because there are multiple layers of pasta breading. in or breading inside of it. True, at which point it becomes an infinite casserole. Or is it a cake? No. Okay, what would you say separates lasagna from cake? Besides taste? Obviously besides taste. Otherwise, your whole argument that a corn, br a corn dog and a ravioli are the same thing fall apart. Because they taste wildly different. True. One makes you want to die and... we argue the semantics. Yes, we're arguing the semantics. Why is a lasagna not cake? Because a cake... <laughs> 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 you know, friend me after this. No, 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 go ahead. Because a cake is a pizza. Oh, what? Whoa. Cake is a pizza? <laughs> cake is a pizza. <laughs> you can't even <laughs> say that with a straight face. Because I'm laughing at your reaction. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm tweeting. I'm fucking tweeting this. I'm, I'm eating right now. Okay. So, yes. Because a cake is breading. Which is, yes, layered. But ultimately has... A non-breaded component, such as fondant or frosting, on top and on the sides of the breading itself. Which makes it a pizza. I hate that you've used your logic to prove this point, and it angers me to the nth fucking degree. Mm -hmm. R remember when I said enjoy that victory? But the constitution is different. What if it's a multi-layer cake or an That's ice cream cake? Ice cream cake is still a pizza. But ice cream cake's bottoms are not breading. True. There, to be fair, there are very different builds of ice cream cake. I've seen a dome of ice cream with cake on top of it, with some of the breading touching the side, but the majority being ice cream. I will have you blasphemous heathen know. Okay. All There's right. also ice cream flat bottoms. There's okay. also ice cream in the center. So at which what point, point... It a casserole. ice cream in the center makes it a casserole? Or ice cream on the bottom makes it a casserole? I would say ice cream in the center is more aligned with that of our fucking sandwich argument versus ice no. cream on the bottom would be more in line with the casserole argument. Okay, if there is not cake between the dish that it's being served on mm -hmm. and the ice cream, because ice cream is objectively not a breaded product. We Correct. Can, we can all agree on that. Right. But if there is breading on the bottom mm -hmm. between the serving dish and the ice cream, then it's a pizza. However... If it's just ice cream on the bottom, and then the breading cake, and then the frosting or fondant or what have you on top of that, then it's a casserole. Because a green bean casserole doesn't stop being that when you sprinkle cheese over the top of it, right? Right. So adding extra ingredients on top of the breading does not stop it from being a casserole. So an ice cream cake, where the bottom is ice cream, is a casserole. But it would also, if ice cream is in the center, wouldn't it also align with our pizza? No. Classification, especially if we take Chicago pizza in, for example, how you have, have your bottom layer have of breading. Are listening at all? I, I, oh, excuse you. Excuse the ever-loving shit out of you. Yes, I have. Let me because finish. Because for it to be a pizza, uh -huh. the breading has to be on the very bottom between whatever components are making up your desired filling okay i i misheard you i thought you said breading ice cream breading icing was casserole no 
Okay, I misunderstood. I misheard you. I misunderstood. I apologize. I forgive you this time. I I admit I I'm quick. I will if if my mistake gets pointed out, I'm quick to admit fault. Sure. No, and that's the beautiful thing about logical and rational debate is coming to realize when you're wrong. Okay, so refresh. Okay, so say it again. Which of the ice cream cake makes it a casserole? Okay. Ice cream touching the dish. Mm -hmm. All ice that cream. It's either prepared on. in or served on. Even if it has breading on top of the ice cream and mm -hmm. then fondant or icing on top of that breading, then it becomes a casserole. Okay. If it is layered cake, ice cream, cake, ice cream, cake, ice cream, where cake is on the very, very bottom, uh -huh. then it's a pizza. And that's how you're... It, it, so since lasagna has a similar makeup, breading, cheese, meat, breading, cheese, meat, breading, cheese, meat, and then cheese on top, usually, is, or like, it, it, breading and then cheese. Oh... Is it a casserole or is it a pizza? It's a casserole because every time I've ever made or served lasagna, you do not put your first layer of bread product, the lasagna noodle, on the very bottom. You would put your sauce, a little bit of meat, then you'd layer your first set of pasta. Okay, I worked at Stouffer's. And they have a completely different makeup of it. Do they put the breading on the very bottom? Yes, it's pasta noodles, meat, pasta noodles, cheese, pasta noodles, meat, cheese, done. Okay, then a Stouffer's lasagna is a pizza. So the lasagna makeup all depends as to the bottom piece. If it is breading, it is pizza. If it is sauce, then it is a casserole. Correct. Those are the rules. That makes sense. Aaron, any you still eating or have you uh, do you agree upon this set of rules we have defined? I am still eating, but I can't find any fault in that logic either. Cool. Ketchup is a vinaigrette. I would argue that a vinaigrette is a sauce because sauce is an older term. Okay. But you could also argue that ketchup is also a smoothie. False. Well, true, smoothies generally aren't just fruit. They're ice and fruit, right? Typically. Typically. So, okay, then vinaigrette or sauce. I would argue sauce because I say sauce would most definitely came first okay um i'm putting a question mark in there because it could be wrong but either way i do agree that sauces and vinaigrette are the same thing but at what point does something stop becoming a sauce how much probably when you introduce vinegar which is the base which makes it a vinaigrette what about relish I would say relish is a vinaigrette. But it has solid chunks to it. True. So, so hold on. So you're, you're saying that vinaigrettes and sauces are different, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. Is there vinegar in ketchup? Yes. I'm asking because I legit do not remember. It. Okay. So, but mayonnaise would be a sauce. Or does mayonnaise, does, does mayonnaise have vinegar in it? I guess it depends on the mayonnaise, because there are different uh, types. Yeah. Here. I'm going to Google this. Peter. Let's see here. Mayo is a high-fat condiment made from egg yolks, vinegar, or lemon juice. Does lemon count the same as vinegar? Mm, I, 
it, it is acidic. So, hmm. It, is the acidic part of vinegar what we're counting, or is it vinegar itself that we're counting? <laughs> I say, I, I say acidity. I, I would say acidity as well. I agree there. So lemon juice is vinaigrette. Or no? I think that yeah. acidity has to be paired with other things. So like sauerkraut <laughs> and... So uh, is a relish. Sprite a vinaigrette? A Sprite? Yeah, a Sprite. No, is... Sprite is a soup, you idiot. Okay. But so, it has acidity so... in it. Lemon, oh, yeah. lime, okay, sugar, okay. carbonation. Hold up. hold up. All right, hold that thought. So, are we going to count acidity at, you know, as a broad term, or are we going to get into pH levels here? Hmm. I, I don't think we need to get into pH levels. I think we need to get into what the base of whatever given ingredient it is. Because Sprite does not begin with the acidic compound, it begins with water, which would make it a soup. But okay. acidity is added to Sprite. True, but it's not in the base. either the lemon or the lime or the um, citric acid. Right, but it's not the base. I'll let you get away with it. I only said that to try to throw a wrench in your spiel. Good but, try. hold on. Uh, what's the other mayonnaise? Oh, Miracle Whip. Oh, God. I don't eat Miracle Whip. I don't it even eat It doesn't legally constitute as food. I don't know why we're bringing this into the conversation. Uh, I know people who prefer it over mayonnaise. Eggs, oil, and vinegar. Yeah, Miracle Whip is a vinaigrette. Miracle Whip is a vinaigrette. Um, hold on. So, my preferred taste of mayonnaise is Koopy Mayonnaise, which is a Japanese brand of mayonnaise which is made entirely different. Instead of just vinegar, it's egg yolks and rice or apple cider vinegar. Okay. So, it does count. Technically, yes. Ooh, hmm. 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 Is does soy sauce count as vinegar? Hmm. Uh, for, um, for the amount of sodium, I don't think so. Sauce. Yeah, I know it's made from soybean. Thank you. Yeah. It's from I what I see. Would it be a spoon? Would it be a <laughs> Soy sauce is similar to vinegar in its chemical buildup. <laughs> but it's made out of soybeans, so that would make it a soup. That would make it a soup. Oh, that angers me. Good that me, fucking pisses me <laughs> off. Die bad, yeah. Hmm. Because you're right. It, it, it's. It's just a really salty soup. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yeah. <sighs> Which brings us to another was... really salty soup. <sighs> so what is, it, what is wasabi? Hmm. Oh, mm, is it a sauce or is it Dang, not runny enough to be considered as a sauce? No, because it's, it's, pre it's pretty pasty. Yes. It's, re it's, it's pretty chunky, so I don't know, man. That's, that's a brain tickler. But it is often used to garnish things much like a sauce would. 
What about it can't be a soup or a stew. Can it? No. I don't think it can be classified as a soup or a stew. It can't be a soup because it's too chunky for that. Oh, God. Oh, God. What? Wasabi is a salad. Explain. Oh, fuck. Okay, explain. So it is derived from the wasabi plant, mm -hmm. which is a root, okay. which they generally grind uh, into a very thin paste. paste. So uh, by our definition, the size of the elements of the plant particles did not matter. Uh-huh. So wasabi is a salad. Salad. Oh, that is weird. That feels wrong. Okay. Then technically, <laughs> licorice is a salad as well, since it is made from root. Oh, I what hear kind of, that. What kind of I hear that thumping. <sighs> Fuck, I can't remember the name of the root. It's... What is it? Isn't it just licorice root? The, the licorice, uh, it's like seeds, I'm pretty sure. Uh, licorice. From licorice root is made from an extract of licorice root. Uh, okay. Huh. Then what would absinthe be? Soup. Uh, absinthe in would its, be a soup. Yeah, in its form it would be a soup. But what is licorice? Is it a salad um, since it's a... Plant-based jerky. <laughs> you know what? I will agree with you. It is a jerky. It's a jerky? Yeah. Ah. But jerky is usually... Uh, wh what constitutes as jerky? Is it just dried meat? Dried product. Dried product. So you're telling me that dried fucking bananas are fucking jerky? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that angers me. I've, mm. actually, heard, I've actually heard some uh, dried fruit be referred to as that fruit jerky. Fruit jerky. Yeah. So it's, not, chat un it's okay, not even mind. unprecedented. Does it make a difference that licorice... Oh, works? yeah, you're live! Yeah, I'm still live. Oh, I completely forgot. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Fuck it. Bullshit and wasted your time. I Are you kidding you me? Live. You think I wasn't going to stream this <laughs> top-tier conversation? Hot debate. Okay, then. Oh, so licorice has got... Up my ring to you guys aren't picking up my ringtone through my mic, right? No, Discord's uh, filtering it out. Discord has a great yeah, filter. All right, good. Or any, like, desk slamming sounds from my screwdriver? No, I ain't heard no. shit from you. Okay. Just your speakings. Um, All right, good. Okay, then. Do you mind if we shift this towards candy now? Okay. Yeah, what's Ooh, wrong? baby, let's go. Hard candy. What is it? Is it just hard? candy? Oh, hard candy? Yeah. Like a sucker. Oh, I swear to God, if you tell me a sucker is a ravioli, I'm gonna throw my desk no, across the no, goddamn no, room. No, because no, there, there are suckers no that don't have bubblegum. Or, bre yeah, breading. breading okay, I was ready. I was like, no, no, no. Hard candy. I don't care if it has a center or not. It is not a fucking ravioli. Oh. <laughs> Oh no. Huh. Is hard candy the base? Is it the base of its own thing? Like pizza? Uh, <sighs> or would it be classified something else? Because, okay, let's think for a second. Hard candy uh, generally uh, is sugar, right? right? You take sugar and you cook it. You, add, you may add flavoring to it, but you cook it. You bring it to a certain degree, you put it in its shape, and you, it hardens. And that is, it is served to you as a hardened piece. Okay, hang on. I need to look up the definition of a particular treat. Would gum be jerky? <laughs> um, no, not exactly, because there's the whole chewing aspect of gum. That, and you're not supposed to eat it. Yeah, I mean, okay. Yeah, I it's think the, it's the non. The fact that I you're mean, supposed to eat it makes it its own thing. All right, hard candy. Mm -hmm. 
is toffee. Okay. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. That makes too much sense. Uh Uh-huh. So, okay, so any hard candy is classified as a toffee, right? Any hard candy, because it doesn't matter if it contains something inside or on it. It is a hardened candy Mm. with components. Okay. Whether it be chocolate, bits of nut, uh, bubble gum, what have you, whatever's inside of it, as long as there is the presence of the hard shell, it is toffee. Makes too much goddamn sense. It do. Okay. Now, what is an M and M? Is it a toffee well, due to the I shell? Well, it depends. What I mean, no. But I don't think it, it is not consumed the same way. The shell no. is more of a edible packaging for the chocolate center. Okay, a... but a regular... Okay, so we're just talking about a regular all-chocolate M&M, right? Yeah, we can go into the semantics of peanut M&Ms or peanut butter M&Ms Because when it comes to peanut M&Ms, I, I don't know. I'd probably consider that a top eight. No, not... No. I don't know. That... Hmm. I swear to God, if you say a peanut M&M is a fucking salad. <laughs> no... <laughs> Um, so, so has a peanut in it. A peanut is a legume, which is a plant uh, surrounded by chocolate. And, and chocolate is derived from another beans. plant. Uh, so, so, oh no, uh, stop. No, 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 no. Oh god, Eminem is a fucking salad. No! No! <laughs> but Eminem, wait, 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 hold on. A peanut Eminem is a salad, but a regular Eminem is a pasty chocolate. It is not hard, so it would fall into the same category as a wasabi, would it not? Right. And what is a wasabi? I don't remember. I'm too tired. It's a salad. <laughs> oh! No! No! Why? Oh, no! Okay, okay. Is, is a frosting a sauce? Frosting? Oh, God, shut the <laughs> fuck up. Yes. What about a glaze? Sauce. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you telling me that frosting, glazing, and Cool Whip are all are, are, are all in the same category? No, not fro- not- I mean, not glazing. Because glazing could be many things. You could have right. su- like sugar glazing or egg white glazing or <clears throat> what else? See, I, f- I feel like if <clears throat> different foods as you're glazing them, so to say, is just an element that was probably and possibly already introduced somewhere else in the cooking process. So we're assuming that there are not degenerates out there who eat icing straight from the tub. Uh, I mean, you're talking to one of them. Okay, thank God. I was like, I'm not just going to oust myself in front of all these people. (laughs) I have so done it. It's fucking delicious. Um... So he, here's a frosting would be what then? If you were to eat frosting by itself, what would it be? Frosting is just whipped sugar, right? Right. Yeah. Sugar is derived from sugar. Shut candy. the fuck up! No, <laughs> shut the fuck up! I'm sorry, homie. It's okay, sad. fine, 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 fine. Fuck you. Fine. God, cool. Like about to throw a punch through this computer, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting I'm heated. Waiting. JDAM to get delivered to my door. Cool Whip. Cool Whip? What is it? Milk. Mm-hmm. Well, yes. no. Hmm. Hmm. It is a dairy product, but you if you were to say it's a milk, then you could also argue that cheese is just milk. And milk is a soup, so it's not its own qualifier. Right. Is it a... St- Oh, I don't want to finish that sentence. I don't. I don't think that frothing it. Uh, 
like the the process in the process of frothing to create the whipping, right? You're introducing air. Uh, I think it stops being a soup with the milk. So then that begs the question, what what does it become? <sighs> Is oh Cool Whip god. a base of itself? Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. How do you make jerky? You... <laughs> Dry meat. Dry you know, meat. You gr no, 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 no. What, I mean, what, what first step would be to grind... To grind the ingredient right then lay it out thin uh-huh then <laughs> put it out to dry air dry. is whisking not just a smaller form of that Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't strike the, <sighs> the cool whip, though. True. No, but you're that. introducing air. Mm. I don't know. That one's cool so whip is a solidified liquid due to a drying process of introducing air. He's but right. it is also derived from milk, which is an animal byproduct. Yeah, we fucking get it. Just shut the hell up. <laughs> <sighs> Why? Why do you have to do this to me? <laughs> On my own stream, nonetheless. You, you have to mentally it, fucking break me. Gamer, you're the one that invited me on. Yeah, I fucking know. Anyways, get back to the piece of candy I wanted to, one of the pieces of candy I really wanted to talk about is a gummy candy. Okay. Are we separating gummy candy from sour gummy so, candy? No, um, no, because the base is gelatin, right? Yes. Which is an animal byproduct. Oh, you better shut the fuck up. If you're about to say what I think you're gonna say, if you're gonna fucking call gummy bears fucking jerky. Gelatin by cooking and separating and thinning out uh -huh. the animal byproduct uh -huh. before <laughs> introducing air. Gummy bears are jerky. Fuck me. Yes, fuck me. Unless, unless... You're making them using agar rather than gelatin? Then let me guess. It's a fucking salad. Yes. <sighs> so is... Okay, well, Okay. what about gum? Is gum... We, gum is, should be a league of its own since it's not technically edible. You can eat it, but it will cause bodily harm. Uh, yeah, I would not consider gum a food. So what is it? Gum is a thing you chew for fun. Is it a toy? For fun and profit. Uh, you know, I, I would actually agree with that sentiment. Bubblegum I mean, is a toy. I mean, yeah. Why does that bother. not bother me? And then, Essentially. And then, uh, like, mint, mint gums, like, fresh breath gums are just, like, mints. Yeah. Like, they're not, not like they're mints, but I mean, like... Yeah, they're they're breath they're fresheners. Cool. They're not yeah. Yeah, they're not meant to be ingested. Um, what about a Skittle? So we've declared that a fucking M and M, the goddamn fucking salad. What the fuck's a Skittle? It's okay. a salad, dude. It's fruit. It's salad, ah, <laughs> artificial flavoring. Artificial okay. fruit. It's an artificial salad. No, no, no. So I, I'm actually going to argue the same point, but in a different direction. All okay. Right, let's hear it. So the center of a Skittle is whipped sugar. That's all it is. Where are we get so far? I know where this is going. <laughs> Skittles are jerky. No. No? <laughs> no, Skittles are salad. Oh, fuck off. 
<laughs> my brain hurts. My brain physically hurts from this. Good, that was my goal. <laughs> uh, hmm. All right. What about chips? Chips? Salad. That's just bread, homie. Oh, well, uh, no, 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 uh, it depends. If, are we talking potato chips or tortilla chips? Yeah, still, mm. still just bread. But if a potato, but it's a potato Although, chip. Oh no, you're right, you're right, because a potato chip is derived from. Oh my god, potatoes. Potato chip jerky. <laughs> but what? What about fries? <laughs> are fries also jerky? No. Fries are, mm. No. No. Mm. What are fries then? <laughs> oh, you don't want to say it. Fry, fry, homie. Fries are ravioli. How is it a ravioli? Oh. It's because, a singular thing. Right, but in the process of <clears throat> frying it, you cre it creates its own breading. Yeah, but so does a slice of bread. The bread has the crust. So are you trying to tell me that a slice of bread by itself is a ravioli? I mean, a to a piece, a slice of toast. How about that? Okay. A, no, okay, I, hold I, on. I, no, I, let's do the slice of bread first, and then the then we the toast. I can see that being ravioli, but the slice of bread, how that wouldn't be a ravioli, be even though it's surrounded by crust. Then why would a fry be? No, you're you're absolutely right. So I I, I rescind. Fries are not ravioli would but it be a salad then they are plant-based so i would say it's a salad that makes more sense than a ravioli hmm. okay hold on popcorn is popcorn a salad? Yes. What about a Cheeto? Is that still a salad? Um, no, because that, I mean, that's a... It's, it's cornmeal. It's cornmeal. Corn yeah. It's grind, grounded up cornmeal, deep fried with batter. Okay. It's corn. It, it's basically you make a batter out of cornmeal like you do with a, a corn dog, and you deep fry it. You have that. Hmm. So would it be considered a salad, or does the presentation make it something different? <laughs> I love the I love the Google humming. <laughs> Deep in thought in Google search. Lost in the sauce, thinking about fucking food, man. Is Cheeto a salad? <laughs> I think Google's gonna <laughs> fucking ping your house and airstrike you. I, I can hear the FBI already getting ready to break in. My oh, FBI I agent is fucking... Man. I'm surprised I haven't had nothing pop up yet being like my FBI agent just like you've been disowned from this country. Move. Move. Just, <laughs> just get Get. <laughs> go on, go, leave. Um. Oh my God! Is leather just wearable jerky? Yes. yes. Oh my yeah. God! Because you can um, technically eat leather. You're, oh you're, it won't, my! It's edible, God. but it won't taste good at all. No, no, it will not. Edible. So your reaction is like. It's just jerky, and we're like, yeah, it always has been. <laughs> I think I think this conversation has mentally broken all of us to accept things we would otherwise never accept. Uh, um. Is plastic jerky? No. No. But, but, hear me out. Plastic is made from crude oil, which came from where? <laughs> All right, <motherfucker. laughs> 
So, I mean, and, essentially, and, and it's just me. liquid dinosaur. <laughs> answer me this. Yes. It's a dinosaur smoothie. Oh, God. Uh, outside of a dildo, <laughs> when have you eaten plastic? Uh, well, I mean, when I was a kid, I... Eaten would, or chewed? I would chew and sometimes accidentally swallow the wrappers for some candy. Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna Google this. No, I wanna check, because I feel like there is something. I mean, one time I ate the, the bottom end of a Beyblade. I mean... <laughs> like the plastic, like, tip of a Beyblade. Why? I accidentally swallowed it. I was just chewing on it, and then I, uh, I swallowed huh. it. Um... Just like how you can chew on a pencil or something. I, I, I guess the better question is what restaurant have you gone to and ordered <laughs> plastic? Hey, I'd like the extra because, little plastic, please. Oh, actually... It's not a fucking food. No, re okay, hey, no, hold on. It's a, re a recent discovery of mine. Oh, no. So, a lot of restaurants, I mean, a lot of, like, restaurants, fast food joints, or whatever, and s they've gone this alternate route of I mean, maybe you've seen this too. When you go to get a straw, you notice the some of the straws are green. Yeah. Have you guys have you guys seen this? I think so. Uh, okay, those straws are biodegradable. They're they're plant based straws. Okay. So I mean, it is kind of plasticky, but the percentage I'm not so sure of. So hang on. But they're not plastic. They're BPA. The Too water sorry. that turned the the chemical in the water that turned the frogs gay. All right, hold on. Let me look this up. So if you drink water from a BPA water bottle, you are ingesting plastic. Compostable straws made with plant in mind. Let's read this. But oh, it, the BPA argument, real quick, while well, Ivan Googles that. Okay. Plastic is edible. As BPA. And be eaten. Not recommended. But was served well, in many I people. Mean, I've had BPA water bottles. It's I'm drinking same, water from them. It's the same amount of edible as the gum is edible. Right. You can eat it, but it doesn't, like, give you anything. You shouldn't, is the thing. Yeah. So, at which point, plastic is a toy, which I thought we had already established, but I guess Fair. not. Uh, okay. Like I said, just bringing up argument for argument's sake. Anyways, these Ivan. Straw, uh, these straws are made from corn. So they're salad. So it's it, these straws are salad. Yeah. Holy shit. Uh-huh. Man, I could eat these. I've been chewing on these forever. Nice. I could just eat them. Do it. All right, anyway. Back to the discussion. Hold on. Petroleum. That... Like I mean, gasoline? It's a, it's a fossil fuel. Like... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Packaged baked goods often contain petroleum as a way of keeping them fresh and mold free. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. Petroleum um, is used as a preserving agent in food. Petroleum comes from crude oil. Are you trying to argue? <laughs> no. All right. Plastic All right. is okay. not petroleum. We're we're on that subject, okay, let's go into um, Cosmoline. Okay. But I'm, I'm if we count, real quick, to kind of wrap up my point, if let's we see, count the preservatives you that use petroleum, then if then you were to just sweet. eat those preservatives as is, is that Which jerky? Why? Which, why, obviously, but is it jerky? Okay, never mind. This, no. 
I, I have a feeling that that Last no time. came from with a pinch of the bridge of the nose. I, my, like, my arms are tucked into my stomach and I'm leaning forward. <laughs> Close enough. Anyways, Ivan, go on with your point. I'm fucking around to try to get a rise out of Dave. I just looked up Cosmo Line, so it's it says it's petroleum-based. Gotcha. So... Oh. So, homogenous, homogenous mixture of oil-based nonpolar hydrocarbons. Because here's the thing, right? The dinosaurs that make up the plastic yeah. were at one point liquid, mm. which makes it a soup. But before they were liquid, well, yeah, I guess you're right. But if you re-solidify the liquid, so crude oil is a soup, it's an inedible soup. Right. But if you re-solidify it, what, did we discuss what I happens mean, when we re-solidify a soup? What what is yogurt? Ooh, is it a stew? No. Or is it because it's not a salad? Uh, unless it has chunks in it, like chunks of the fruit mm -hmm. of whatever or just, like yogurt is based on. Uh huh. I would argue that since it's based on a liquid such as milk, mm -hmm. um, or uh, other similar liquids derived from uh, fucking hell. Uh, what the hell am I trying to think of? Um, other like nuts and other such. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> also, I recently figured out that pea milk is a thing. Yes, milk. Yeah. Uh, for for the viewer at home, that's P E A. Uh, milk. Is also... Which is a horrifying gray color. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, also, hold on, hold that thought. There's also roach milk. Yeah. I'm sorry. Roach yeah, is in the that. cockroach or roach is in yeah, a blunt roach? Cockroach. Cockroach. Papa roach. <laughs> Look at, I mean, look, look. Cut you my look life it. into pieces. Just, just look it up right now. Huh. What is going in my Google search engine history? Roach um, milk. What was I saying? Look at the right. texture of it. So yogurt is just a soup. Okay. What if it's too thick, you can't drink it? Well, then our marinara... Uh, argument from earlier that makes spaghetti a stew falls apart. Uh, oh, true. okay. What's is Greek yogurt thicker than regular yogurt? Uh, you can certainly make it thicker. I can think of a handful of ways. Okay. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't change the argument at all whatsoever. But I'm sure. Curious. So if we add fruit bits to the yogurt, it becomes a salad. It becomes a stew. A stew, a stew, okay. But yogurt by itself is a soup. soup. I feel like there's a classification we're missing. That it could be instead. No. No? Cool. <sighs> <laughs> Uh, uh. Okay. Um uh. What um fuck. I had it. What is a Tootsie roll then? Uh Tootsie rolls are made of chocolate, right? Mm. Or something similar. Okay, it no, may be. Okay. What are the what are the sugar, corn syrup, palm oil, condensed skim milk, cocoa, wee, soy, lecithin, artificial and Wait. natural flavors, whatever. Okay, so it's almost two a.m. Forgive me. Never. So hold on. Okay, it's got so milk. 
So wait, sorry about Ivan. Okay, so we have a tootsie roll, mm -hmm. but when would you consider a tootsie roll a taffy? Yes. Okay, now breaking that down, what we what would you consider <coughs> a taffy? Obviously, laffy taffies, but well, just taffy in general. Right, but sp spiritually, um, what defines the taffy? I guess a a malleable gelatin. What immediately comes to mind for me, um, because okay. I wouldn't consider a gummy bear to be a malleable gelatin, right? If you squish a gummy bear and then uncompress it, retains it, 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 retains, it, it retains its shape. shape. Whereas if you bend a taffy, it doesn't the shape you bent it to. Okay. All right. So I would say taffy is its own classification. Okay. All right. So then we we would label tootsie rolls a taffy then sure because if given you squish it, a tootsie, enough heat. tootsie roll it will retain the shape that you squished it to given enough heat that is well sure. it also kind of depends on the freshness of the tootsie roll if you have a stale tootsie roll it's gonna be hard to bend but if you have a fairly yeah. fresh tootsie roll it's a lot easier to bend it also depends yeah, on the thickness and a couple other factors to... yeah that's what i'm saying too like so I don't know. He's got to give us some hand heat. In that right. case, um, is everyone in this chat room familiar with sweet tart ropes, or as they were formerly known by their better name of kazoozles? I've uh, never known them as kazoozles, but uh, yeah. I was gonna say I've known them as sweet tart ropes. What the fuck is a kazoozle? Kazoozle was the original name for a sweet tart rope back in 2010. In 2010. That recent? Holy shit. Yes, I was at that. Warp what Tour the for the promotional tent this? for Kazoozles. And me and Rob got a bunch of them just after seeing Dillinger Escape Plan and Warp Tour of 2010. They were a new candy. Oh, shut up. I'm just trying to give you a background of... Because I that is the one candy I've known since its fucking inception. Okay. Go but on. anyways, what are they? I'd they say have a, taffy. They have an outer exterior that is similar to a red vine or a Twizzler, but they have an inner cream, a uh, soft, malleable, almost it's pasty a like based paste, right? I believe so. Yeah. So, hang on. What but it's in a sweet tart. I don't want pictures. Hi, garlic. Yeah, you come to tell me it's time for bed. Sugar, wheat flour, corn syrup, water. Wait. Wheat flour. Yes, but in the presentation of it. Call me. Call me. No. I. It's a sandwich? Oh, Fuck. Right. No, because it would fall more in line with our open-ended burrito. The yeah, an open-ended bur burrito is a sandwich. We did we? Did we establish yeah. that? Like I said, or later sure. you keep me up, the harder my memory, and the, some, the more spotty my memory gets on some of these discussions. That's why I cannot wait for you to download a six-hour-long VOD and piece <laughs> together your favorite bits, which will take you hours. I mean, I'll be recovering from surgery over the next week or so, so I'll have time. Fair enough. If you don't mind indulging my curiosity, what are you going in for? Um, getting snipped. Oh. Ah, oh, dang, Fair I need enough. to do that. Right? I'll let you know how it goes. I mean... Buy plenty of- I mean, yeah, stay stocked on that ice. Yeah. Uh, I've got ice, rice bags, um, soup, and I and I mean actual soup, not tonight's arguments of soup. <laughs> so I what about as well. a York Mint? Uh, that has milk in it, but it also has plants in it. Right. I would argue salad. Salad, because okay. it's chocolate coating. What about something? Well, peanut. Uh, so, for Re Reese's peanut butter cup would also be salad, right? 
Yes. Now, what about the M&Ms with pretzels inside of them? Still a salad. Mm, but it's got breading in the center. Doesn't that change it? Oh, with the pretzels? Yes, with the pretzels. Huh. Okay, hey. what do we make of pretzels then? Pretzels are breading. Yeah, pre pretzels are bread. So what do we consider uh, mm -hmm. if breading is completely surrounded by uh, a pasty-like substance, a oh stew, if you will, or a soup? Oh my God. No. What? No. No what? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> chocolate is pasty uh -huh. to a degree. Uh-huh. It is, is it still... a stew? No. No? Because the chocolate th and the sugar coating are mm -hmm. derived from plants. With a little bit of milk. And they surround the <clears throat> breading. Right. The same way that a bunch of leaves in a salad might surround a crouton. We're going with yeah. salad? Croutons. So pretzel M&M's are still a salad. But could it also be constituted as uh, a burrito since it is an enclosed piece? What the piece? fuck? No. Because the <laughs> breading is not the thing on the oh, outside. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. So if it was a pretzel with the other M&M stuff inside. Which sounds delicious. Combos. Ooh. The cheese inside the pretzels. Are those sandwiches? Some of them are cont so generally combos are supposed to be all contained with inside of it, right? All the the flavoring. Some of them are, some of them are not. Well, let's take one of the You know, everyone knows what combos are, right? The, the combos. Yeah, the yeah. I mean the filling is in a pretzel tube. It's it's a pretzel tubing that the cheese goes inside of essentially. Yeah. Does that make it a burrito? Uh it's open-ended. Ah, uh, they're not. Some of them are not supposed to be. Oh, I've seen these. Okay. I, I've uh, seen some where they're supposed to be a, a, a filling inside the pretzel itself. It's the filling inside the pretzel itself, but... it's uh, As in some of them are supposed to be a single contained all... unit inside. Some of them are. Obviously, there are, uh, uh, not, there are times where they will break in shipping. Um, it's not that they break in shipping, they come open-ended. Yeah, they, I was going to say, they're uh, open-ended, well, therefore they're yeah. sandwiches. They're sandwiches. I swear there was some that were supposed to be closed off entirely. I'm seeing some of these, like, peanut butter-filled pretzels, peanut butter which filled. are fully sealed, and therefore ravioli. Would they be a ra Are they ravioli? Yeah. Yeah, there's. I guess they would be, because uh, burritos are their own thing, right? Due to the size. No. No burritos or raviolis. Correct. For some reason, I thought we had that burritos were burritos. Okay, no, you, so raviolis. You asked okay. if size mattered. I clarified that no, size does oh. not matter. Mm -hmm. Or so I tell. The closed burritos or raviolis and open burritos were are sandwiches. sandwiches. Exactly. Okay. Thank you for that, Eric. I'm trying to think of other snacks right now. <laughs> um, oh, uh, other snacks. Okay. Um, who? What come on, Ivan. Snacks? You're the snack king. Well, not real. Oh. All right. Not really. Okay, no, no, okay. Uh huh. Have, yeah, okay. So, do you guys know those Nutella Buenos? Yes. I don't actually. Hang on. So they're. Basically a uh, chocolate shell around liquid Nutella, okay, yes, right? I, I do know these, yeah. So it's like a cho it's like chocolate with 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 like two wafers. Yeah. Uh, sandwiched into like this like. What are the wafers? Okay, it's. And the wafers would be breading, wouldn't it? What would it? Would that? What are what are wafers? Is that a con? Is that a casserole? No. no because no because like with these bueno things you snap them like they're all sections so you snap them off like a trouble trouble dome god these look delicious holy they're shit good. dude they're so good 
I'll have to try one of these. Um, I would argue that they're salad. Okay, hold on. I've got one. I've got, I've got a screwball for you. Now, this is not an American candy. We've had these. It's pretty rare. They're called arrows. A E R O, right? Like yeah, the I've German. Had, I've had arrows. Had arrows. They are chocolate bars with air bubbles inside of them. Right. What is it? Salad. But it's got air bubbles inside of it, like whip, like Cool Whip. Okay, but the chocolate isn't frothed, so to say. But that's, it hardens as it's frothed, though. Right. That's why it has the air bubbles inside of it. Right. So would that not make it jerky? <laughs> Cody boy is foaming at the mouth. The bear fucking loses his mind. Come on, let's say you, Coda bear. Let's, let's hear it. Did he? Did he just leave the room? I think I heard a gun cock. <laughs> Either a gun cock or a door shut, one or the other. Well, well was that the airsoft bang? Uh, that sounded more like gun movement. <laughs> 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 I think I've broken our bear friend. Our huggly wuggly little bear ain't so huggly wuggly anymore. He can barely believe it. It's oh, very unbearable. Very oh. uh. situation's very scary. I can barely believe it. I hope uh. he's hearing this, but in some way, shape, yeah, or form. Yeah. Okay. You know what, Spence? Yeah. That's one. That was one too many. It was one too many. Oh God. Oh god, 2v1, y'all really gonna come at me like this? Two Both four. of you? Two for... <laughs> you're, you're right, it's a fruit jerky. <laughs> oh my god. Yes! <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard me slam the door, I don't know if the Discord oh, okay. If we door slam, okay. We thought it was guns. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it because it, it, one thing sounded like a door and then another thing sounded like a gun and then Ivan was like I'm already strapped boy I'm coming for you <laughs> jeez um no I like I, I wanted to like more genuinely slam a door but I also acknowledge it's two in the fucking morning fair enough well way to be considerate of your neighbors I mean you do live on is it fourth fifth floor Fourth or fifth? Fifth? Okay. So. Yeah, um, you were about to slap the full on docks there, buddy. Oof. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I have another weird one that I'm not certain of. An I mean, alcoholic want... sucker with a scorpion inside of it. Alcohol? Those are alcohol? No, they're not. Some of them are. Not all of them are. Some of them are, though. I mean, like, if the scorpion you can... itself was alcohol-infused? Sure. No, they mix tequila in with the sugar. Oh, that is so weird. Okay. Huh. I haven't I mean, seen one in a minute, he... and it was a gift to me from a friend after his family went to Mexico. I mean, the only way I could see it being sugared if it was, like, blue agave tequila. I'm pretty sure that's what it was made of, but I don't quite fully remember. Blue agave is pretty dang uh, sugared. But Actually, on, on that note, I'll be right back. Okay. But continuing on that train of thought, it's got an insect inside of it. Yeah. But it's, not, okay, it's a yeah, hard some candy. Some of them have scorpions in it, and then the other, like other ones have what? What are they called? Mealworms? I think so. Either mealworms or crickets, usually. <laughs> I don't know. I think I've eaten one of the scorpion ones, but I stayed away from the stinger. I don't know why, but I just did. Yeah, I don't blame you. I 
I forced it on butter, so I was like, here you go, eat this. <clears throat> Sorry. You're good. Um, I'd say, I'd say it's a toffee. A toffee? Because it's a hard candy that contains mm -hmm. other elements. Other things, yeah. Okay. But this, but this, well. What is a gusher? But this, with this no, hold on, hold on. We're still on this scorpion lollipop thought. Okay. So it's a toffee, but the we're scorpion adding doesn't change a it. Thing, we're adding a thing that was once living. True. Yeah, it's scorpion meat. Were were the almonds that you put in toffee not at one point alive? What is it in, to in be alive? Okay, we're getting into a different philosophical Can question. Really comprehend the consciousness that we have because the only person's consciousness that i can prove is my own i can't look okay. you in the eyes and determine whether or not any of you okay heidegger like, chill okay, out okay bro okay brother we're getting into some hitchhiker's guide shit Calm heidegger it, heidegger is the the philosopher who invented existentialism can i finish finish all right fine okay. finish okay i'm finished Okay, <laughs> um, so but I I do feel like toffee is a good representation of it, um, because when you break it down to its core element, uh, core fundamentals, scorpion is just another source of protein, which you could argue the same for peanuts and toffee. I feel like that it doesn't the it still constitutes the same. Right. Okay. Um, Gushers now. It's a gelatin shell housing right. a, With a liquid center. Liquid center. Is it a stew? No. What would it what be? Did we what did we consider a bread bowl soup? A uh, bread bowl soup was a taco. Okay. So would we consider a gush, a fruit gush? Wait, do we did we say fruit gusher? Yeah, it's it's a gusher okay. we're talking about. All right, so uh, we, I would say that? no because the oh, well, it's all it sugar. requires the breading, right? We don't and have the breading. All of it is sugar mm -hmm. in two separate forms, mildly including the gelatin. Um, no, 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 no! Are you gonna tell me it's a fucking ravioli? No. Oh, thank God. Because it doesn't have any breading. Oh, God. I thought you were about to be like, yeah, it's a ravioli. Jump in I the mean, gun, spi buddy. spiritually, it is close to a ravioli. Spiritually. And had I not quantified earlier that a ravioli required breading, then yes, I would be willing to argue that a gusher spiritually is a ravioli. Mm -hmm. However since it is derived both forms of the liquid substance inside the dressing if you will mm. similar to the <clears throat> somewhat viscous <laughs> outer shell i would say that a gusher is a salad i feel like the sh salad breaks it from the the shell breaks it from the salad because it is a contained food it is not open like salad. Hot take. Hmm. A hot take, I can't argue. <sighs> hmm. I can't really think of a good point around that either. Because that's the point of the gusher, is that the juice oh, is never... inside the shell. Sure. It gushes, if you will. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Do gushers fall out of our pyramid? <laughs> Is it out of our sorting range? I, I think similar to Taffy, we gotta, we gotta set it aside. Gushers are gushers. Hmm. Gushies are gushies. Well, damn. Huh. But so, like fruit, full roll up in fruit by the foot would be taffy, right? No, They're malleable. 
Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because if okay. you if you fold a fruit roll up, good luck if getting not, that fucking apart. If they're not taffy, they're jerky. So I those are the. Think it's a, I think fruit roll ups are kind of a gray area between uh, taffy and jerky. The, the, I would say the fruit roll up is a taffy. Fruit by the foot is a jerky. It is very easy to unroll fruit by the foot. Even if it sticks together, it is very easy to undo. It doesn't oh, okay. retain its shape like taffy does. Like when you bend it away, it doesn't retain that shape. It always but kind you of. Give it, you give is... it enough pressure, then it'll it will be malle pretty uh malleable. Malleable. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah, what what's our consensus then? Because I I'm I'm sticking with I'm st somewhere I'm between st jerky and uh, taffy. Uh, that's all I got at two in the morning. I'm giving. I'm just, I'm still considering a kind of a gray area. It right. could be either or. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna say jerky because the compromise, the the buildup of it and how it interacts with itself is different than fruit by the foot. It's not as sticky. Sure. It's so a I'm in the jerky camp. Okay. Here's one we brought up earlier and entirely glazed over. Okay. Ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Mm, oh, no. Yeah, we talked about ice cream. No, we didn't. I mean... It's a hard substance. <sighs> Would it well, be considered I mean, hard? It could be, but it also could not be, because you have hard serve and you have soft serve, and you have. Is it a like, fucking a stew? I hear that little laugh, that little, the little laugh you did. <laughs> I, I, th I think ice cream might be a stew, homie. Got me doing a little butthead laugh, dude. Yeah. Oh. 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 Fuck. God. Okay, you guys. Uh, how's this going? It's um, two in the fucking morning. It is. I uh, I think I need to close my eyeballs. <laughs> Fair enough. Sucks. I feel like this is a great place to end the stream. Viewer, we'll put it out to you. What is ice cream? Tell us. Well, Tell us. I think. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the only viewer. Because I have the stream, I had the stream up just so I could follow along with the bracket, and I never turned it off. So I'm pretty sure I'm the only viewer. Who yeah. else has watched Twitch at 2 a.m.? I don't know. I mean, there are other well, time zones, and people yeah. might watch the VOD back, whether or not they'll get this far, I don't know. I somewhat doubt someone would be willing to sit through the almost seven hour, six and a half hour stream. Just to Holy get crap, to this bit. Have you been streaming that long? Yes, I have. I've been streaming oh, since like eight. Nice. It took us a while to find the strongest JoJo character.